this is very difficult for me to do. It's hard to talk about things of this nature, but they need to be talked about. This is a very, very hard thing for me to do, but I'm going to do it anyway because it will help you. Many of you in this place are contemplating committing suicide. You're contemplating ending it all because your life is so horrible and you can't even bear to live. You got your whole life ahead of you. You got your whole life ahead of you to make good choices and to make bad choices and to make terrible choices, but to make choices. If you commit suicide, you will lose your ability to make choices. You know not what lies beyond the grave. You don't know what danger lies. You don't know what, what pleasures lie. You know not what lies beyond the grave because you're not there yet. Even if you're a Christian, you truly don't know what lies beyond the grave because you're not there yet. You know there's a God that loves you if you're a believer, but you know not what lies beyond the grave. You don't know what the result of your suicide will be. You don't know what the result of this choice will be. When I was 14 years old, I contemplated committing suicide. I had a razor blade to my throat. I was ready to snuff out my life because I didn't want to live because my dad died and I couldn't handle it. And I was a nervous wreck, guys. I'm now nearly 40 years old. I've lived many years, I've seen many regrets, but I've seen many, many joys. I've seen the joy of my mother as her long battle with cancer ended and she finally went to her final resting place. I've seen the joy of my brother as he matured. I've seen the joy of petting animals. I've seen the joy of making accomplishments. I experience the bitterness of defeat. I experience all the things that life has to offer, both the positive and the negative. But I've been through some special trials as well. Some me things mentally that no one should have to go through. I've lost a marriage. I lost the woman I love. Many things have happened in my life, but I can still say I'm glad that I'm alive because if I'm alive, I have the ability to make choices. I have the ability to make choices that will influence my tomorrow. If I'm dead, I know not. Even though I believe in the Bible, I still don't know what the re impact of my suicide will be. I don't know what it will cause on the other side. I'm so glad that at 14 years old that suicide did not happen. I'm so glad that I was given hope to live. You have to have hope because without hope, why would you want to live? But I'm telling you, young person, even with you feel like you don't have hope, feelings are not hope. You feel like you have no hope does not mean you don't have any. Just because you feel like you want to die right now, don't do it. Because in a few moments, those feelings will pass and you will very much want to live at that time. I respect you and I respect your time. Therefore, if you're wanting to know the source of strength that got me through all this, I will be happy to tell you about it. Just see me. Or email me. But right now, I needed to tell you that choices, you have plenty of choices to make. If you commit suicide, you can't become a doctor. If 
you commit suicide, you can't serve in the military. If you commit suicide, you can't get married. If you can't get, commit suicide, you can't become a, a monk or whatever your life choice, whatever you choose to do. I'm not telling you one way or another. You must choose your own choice. But you can't decide anything if you commit suicide, friend. Nothing. It will be decided for you. Please. For the sake of all of the choices that you would have missed, both the good and the bad, because some of the bad choices, they're just learning experiences. Life's a learning experience. Like when you put your head foot, foot, uh, hand on the hot stove, you don't do it again. Some of life's choices are bitter. I'm not going to tell you all of life is positive and upbeat and wonderful, but life is worth living. Because if you live it right, the good shall far outweigh the bad in every respect. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much for choosing not to commit suicide.